happy Easter to each and everyone out there. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, and I'm back again with another video. This is also a controversial episode, and this is going to be the last video that I'm going to upload on the issue that is happening to our fellow brothers and sisters living in Guangzhou, China, at this very moment. Today's video is going to be all you need to know what triggered the situation, what is really happening right now. But first of all, I want to thank this consulate the nigerian consulate for being so selfless like these guys were in the rain and he had to go and buy food for them wow <laughs> And also thanks to each and every African who have been supporting these brothers on the street with food, blankets and others. God bless you all. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Wadamaya, an African vlogger who lived in China but currently traveling in Africa to show the beauty of Africa. My brother, Africa is the place to be, whether you like it or not. But if you also want to support the channel, please don't forget to be a patron. Like I said, I need 50 patrons, 39 already and almost 11 more to go without further ado let's dive into today's episode there was a press conference in china i mean guangzhou china where the mayor refutes what is happening i mean he refutes the rumors that is happening saying that it's false the study reported 25 out of over 100 imported cases are foreign nationals this morning study officials briefed the media on prevention and control of imported cases our reporter He Weiwei gave us the details. The press conference today draws very much attention because uh, recently there are some sayings spreading on the social media saying that some Africans are being treated very badly or even being discriminated uh, in Guangzhou. So uh, the Guangzhou official today at the press conference responded to this issue by saying that Guangzhou treats all foreigners equally. For more of this, now let's take a listen. We treat all people equally, oppose any differentiated practices, and have zero tolerance for discriminatory words and actions. This is the principle we have always adhered to for a long time. You heard it yourself, right? With all the proofs that we have, with all the videos that are spreading, with all the information that we had, still they had to come out to say that that was a lie some saying spreading on the internet saying that some Africans, especially Nigerians, uh, they were being evicted from hotels or rental houses. We here, we're trying to find out the truth. So we contacted a African uh, person who are living in Guangzhou, but asked to consider his identity. And he said that this is because most of those people, uh, they don't have a valid visa. So that means they are now staying in Guangzhou illegally. So they can, they're not willing to uh, take a nucleic acid test because their passports will reveal their illegal status. That, that is so funny. Like for you to say that Africans evicted from the hotels were staying in Guangzhou illegally. First of all, let me tell you something. From my success experience living in China, you cannot stay in a hotel without a passport and what? A resident permit. I mean, if you don't have a visa, I mean, a legal document, in the first place, you can never stay in a hotel because every hotel that you go to, the first thing that they ask in China is your passport. So I don't know why you tell me that the people that were staying in the hotel that you evicted them have no legal document to stay in the country. I'm not denying the fact that some people living in Guangzhou, China don't have visa, but this is a lie. I spoke with one Tanzanian businessman who's been yeah. living in Guangzhou since 2007. You know, He's now under quarantine in his own home. This is my fourth day in quarantine. If you want to buy some food or daily necessities, how will you do that? We order online and then um, the community here, they have uh, the management, they have arranged someone, just inform them that uh, whatever I want to buy and then They'll just go pick it from downstairs and bring it upstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, also they would come in to collect my trash. 
Jones says he noticed some complaints on the internet, but he sees things differently. Frankly speaking, I've been in Guangzhou for so many years. I, I've, I haven't seen any kind of discrimination against me. The Chinese felt the pinch in the first days of the outbreaks because even Chinese living abroad, we are complaining about that, about being stigmatized, about being related to the virus. I said, they all have a lesson and there's no way Chinese will do that to the Africans. So um, what, I, what I think is maybe a misunderstanding. This man right here is too old to be my father, so I don't think I'll be able to disrespect him over here. But I just want to say that, please, um, when you get opportunity to speak for the entire Africa, please stay loyal. You know, some of you are really a sellout. I mean, this is why the continent is not moving forward. We are not coming together as one Africa. I mean, what you are saying, like living in China since 2007, and you are saying that you've never been discriminated. Oh my goodness, like, I just don't even get it. I mean, even if you have not been discriminated, recently they compared Africans with animals, which is an insult to every black man on this earth. So are you trying to tell me that you've not been discriminated? Like, yo, I mean, I've lived in China. There are so many good people in China, but in one way or the other, you will experience discrimination in China. If you check my videos, come on. There is no content creator in China who is so positive than what am I. Yo, I've been so positive. Check my videos. See me with kids. Having fun. See me with Chinese people. Having fun. But after all this, in one way or the other, you will definitely experience what? Discrimination or racism. Let me share an interview that I had with a brother who has been quarantined for two times. First, he was quarantined in his house, and then he has to quarantine again in a hotel without quarantining his wife and kid. Yeah, currently, we are in the hotel. I would say I am in the hotel. Yeah, where I am, uh, this quarantine service is going on. So, currently, I'm in the hotel. But one thing that uh, baffles me is that uh, it is the Chinese people who are calling for all blacks to be quarantined in hotels. Bro, I went to Ghana with my Chinese wife. When we returned from Ghana, we were quarantined in our home for 14 days. Right, uh, just three days after we had been released, the police came to our house again that the government has issued a new law. And that, in fact, that law was made that very day, that very morning that they came. So they should we should go to uh, the and the law state that all blacks must be quarantined in the hotel we came to the hotel before they arrange a room for you you are made to pay you are made to pay for the 14 days that you are going to stay in the hotel it is not we blacks who are calling for this quarantine. I was first of all quarantined in my house for 14 days. So why can't you quarantine me in my house again for the second 14 days? If you really want me to go into this quarantine for the second time. And you know, when I completed the first quarantine, they gave me a document that if I move out, whenever I go out, I should carry that document with me because the police are arresting people, black people on the street. But the moment I show them that document, they would, they, they, they will not touch me because they would know that I've, I, I have undergone or I've completed the quarantine period. And they will not touch me but when we came to the hotel 
the management of the hotel they saw that document and they said but you have been quarantined you have finished your quarantine so the the manager was shocked that uh, they brought me the police people brought me also to be quarantined i'm not making this up this is from somebody who is in guangzhou china at this very moment as i'm talking to you but someone might ask what triggered this whole issue in guangzhou china this is the story a nigerian man arrived in guangzhou china and he was supposed to do a 14 days self-isolation that's the quarantine and during this quarantine they found out that he has the virus so they wanted to treat him but this nigerian man said no way i don't have the virus i don't have the symptoms maybe you want to infect me with the virus and what kill me so this guy fought with the nurse and bit the nurse and this caused the controversies on the chinese internet where netizens started insulting black people that is the pictures that most of you have been seeing but since there is no proof that this nigerian guy actually bit the nurse we also decided that if something like this really happened show us the proof because there is a video of a chinese guy beating a nurse which can relate to what just happened to the other nest. I don't know, it could be the same nest. And the second story that triggered this whole issue in Guangzhou, China is that they found a Nigerian guy called Ima who is married to a Chinese woman. The woman cooks food and the people had been eating there for weeks. They found out that the woman went to her village and came back with a virus. The woman did not self-isolate for 14 days but started cooking for people and they also found out that it was mostly black people who patronized the woman's food. So they shut down everywhere that had predominantly black people in Guangzhou. So according to the news, he realized that the woman was spreading what? Coronavirus to black people living in Guangzhou. That is why the government claimed that everyone living in Guangzhou, specifically black people, should do a mandatory self-quarantine for 14 days. Even if this story is true, I don't think that was the best way or the right way to tackle this issue. We have embassies should have communicate with the embassies to know the best way to solve these issues so i'll plead on both africa and china please find the best way to solve this issue to bring peace among africa and china relationship to so boy mr ghana baby and um, i hope you guys enjoyed this whole controversy and if it's your first time seeing this face don't forget to do me a favor it's easter i mean give me my easter gift by subscribing to the youtube channel and be part of this awesome family